All right, we've just uh, pulled into this nice little quiet bay. Uh, we've just got our brand new Extreme 795 Center Cab. And uh, I want to take you guys for a little bit of a uh, tour of this new boat. Let's come with me. Well, let's go down the back. Right, so here we go. We've got the good old Honda 150s. We've gone with the Hondas again. You can't beat the reliability. You can't beat the quietness of them. And also, you know, the fuel economy. So we're at the, currently we're burning about 1.5 litres a nautical mile. So that's well under a litre per kilometre. So amazing fuel economy, awesome for our business. You can see here, we've got the massive big live well. It's about 120 litres, holds ample jack mackerel in there. Uh, we've got two tuna tubes. Uh, the idea for all this is we can have our rods in here, drop the baits into the tuna tubes and we're not getting any tangles. So that's a pretty awesome feature. You'll see over here, we've got this Canon downrigger, electric, auto up, auto down. We're using this for uh, live baiting and uh, it's certainly a game changer for us. We can get our live baits down to the exact depth uh, when we're targeting the uh, kingfish. Right, let's move up to here. Look at this. We've got the good old Icy Tech chili bin. We've always been using these things. Always uh, important to look after your catch. All right, check this out. Look at the amount of storage, seating we've got in here. It's incredible. Got the trusty Steiners here. Amazing binoculars, awesome for spotting birds. And this here is, I think, takes the centerpiece of the whole boat. We've got Garmin have put in a 8422 screen. It's massive, it's so clear. We've got a two one kilowatt transducers, a medium and a low chirp. They're through holes, so we're getting really nice, clear picture, as you can see on here. We've got the GMI 20s, uh, those little screens there, they uh, match up with the uh, Honda outboard engine, so we've got all the engine controls and readouts in here. Uh, we've got the Garmin Autopilot down here also, and we run twin VHFs. We like to have twin VHFs, we can have one on a safety channel, and the other one we can uh, monitor boat to boats as well, so it's a great safety feature having two VHFs. We've got the Sandstrut waterproof uh, USB charger here. We've actually got some USB chargers inside our shelving here as well so everyone can charge their phones while we're fishing. We've also got the uh, Ritchie compass here, we need that for survey and obviously a really good safety factor as well. But there's so much room in here, we've got a massive double bed and also a, um, a stretcher in there for Sammy to sleep on at night as well and uh, the good old flush toilet plus roller door for privacy, like a home away from home. Right, let's get up on the bow, we'll check this out, eh? I just want to show you my new outriggers. The guys at Ocean Blue have done a phenomenal job. Check this out. 19 foot long, super big spread here we've got going, guys. It's all carbon fibre poles, they're super light. They take it to the next level, so we're really looking forward to getting into the marlin season and getting these bad boys out. Right. And as you can see, super quick to put out and put them back up again. This is the sea deck. It's got that sort of teak look to it. Really comfy, eh? Real nice. I think I'm getting a bit sort of soft in my old age, but I'm actually quite enjoying the, uh, the nice soft feeling when I'm sitting on it. Come on, let's come up the bow. Right, we're up at the pointy end of the boat here now, guys. Let's talk about anchoring. We've always used the sav winch. It's a full stainless steel drum winch. No maintenance, we've got a braided rope, and we always use the Mason Supreme plow anchor as well. This has to be my little baby right now. We've got the Minn Kota trolling motor. An awesome piece of kit and an absolute game changer for us. We're using it for slow trolling live baits. We're using it for deep dropping live baits on pins, holding us in one spot while we're jigging. We're using it for kite fishing as well. It can hold the boat in a very accurate position. Absolute game changer. I would not build another boat without this unit here. Right, let's talk about the tow package. I use the Ford Wildtrak Ranger. We've got the big custom alloy marine trailer, and I think this is the best tow package I've ever had, and it's perfectly balanced for this size boat. Okay guys, so that's a quick overview on our Extreme 795 Center Cab. We just want to say a huge thanks to the guys at Extreme Boats. They've done a phenomenal boat, and uh, it's something that we're super, super proud of, and also the other great guys and teams that have also you know, put a lot of contribution into this boat. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Adios. All the rods, reels, lures and terminal tackle and some great advice, call in and meet your team at your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store. And for more inspiring online fishing content, visit journeyofafisherman.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.